Hello, this is Yasmin speaking and I welcome you to the third part of our tutorial of one stroke for nail art. Now we're just going to give you some ideas of the petals that we did in part 1 and 2, how they can be used to create some designs. For this design I'm going to use three simple petals to create half of a flower. I created the top petal first, Then the bottom petal, the third petal I'm going to put a little bit closer to the first petal, leaving space so I can complete my design with a stripper brush. We create the center. Then on the empty space that I left between the two petals, we complete putting a line. Then we create a few little dots at the end of the line that we just made. And this is a very nice and simple flower for any short nail. We we'll use the dotting for the little dots. Now, if you don't dip the dotting again, you will get gradual dots. Let's do one more time. This is for half of a flower with three simple petals. You can leave the space on top of the second petal or at the bottom of the second petal or you can choose not to leave any space at all. Now, when you go to create the petal at the bottom, be careful to turn your brush so your colors are correct. This is a mistake that we can make very easily. Once we begin to make the bottom petals, we keep the brush the same way that we had it for the top petal, and then our colors are reversed. On the next nail, we're going to use a combination, just any combination. Simple petals, double, triple, but you can also connect them. And when you do it with a separate movement, as you can see that I'm doing, you can get a very beautiful effect. Now we're going to do the bottom. Remember to turn your brush. Make sure that the right color is toward the center of the flower. And we create the bottom until they meet. Like I said, here there's no rules. We're just making a pretty flower with the movements we have learned. I'm taking out the extra paint from my brush, making sure my brush is nice and flat and thin. I have picked new color up. And now we are going to do half of a butterfly. We're going to use a double petal where the first movement is going to be bigger. And then for the second part of the butterfly, we're going to use a simple big petal. Again, be careful with the colors. We have the dark color toward the center, so I'm keeping this time the dark color towards the center. and that's your butterfly. Later on, you can complete it with the stripping brush or the dotting tool. Now we're going to do a full size butterfly, meaning we're going to create a butterfly with both of its wings. 
I'm going to use one double petal to the right. I turn my brush for turning the colors. One double petal to the left. I'm going to clean my brush. Pick up the colors again. And now I'm going to complete the butterfly with simple petals. But this time I want to make the dark color towards the inside. So one simple petal, a second simple petal. See that I left some space right at the middle, which later on I will complete with a stripper brush. Okay, we have created some designs with our petals, but where are the leaves? Let's create our leaves now. What we're going to create the leaf is a little bit different. We need to make a thin line like we did for the rosebud. Then we pressure completely to the side. And when we want to finish our leaf, we move upward and start lifting pressure from the brush. Let's do it one more time. Softly make the beginning and the tip of the bottom of the leaf. Pressure to the side. And as you lift, you move upward. Let's see this movement one more time. It looks easy, but it's not going to be easy. Again, very light pressure, create a little line to the side and upward. Line, side, up, and lift. Now let me teach you with the same movement, we're going to connect two leaves together. We make our first leaf, side, up and lift. Now since we have the light color, up, Okay, we make sure that the colors show and lift. I'm going to wipe my brush and we're going to make a longer version of this leaf. So we make the line and with the same pressure, we're going to move upward. Slowly, we're going to release pressure and we end at a pointy leaf. Let's do it one more time. We're going to get our colors. Here we go. We make the line. Pressure to the side, with the same pressure, upward, upward, and lift. If you see, for the longer leaf, I put the darker color on the outside. I believe it shows better. Now I'm going to pick up my colors, and we're going to try to do the same towards the other direction. We're going to be moving left this time. Line. The pressure, of course, changes towards the left, upward, and lift. Let's do it one more time. I'm picking up my colors. Lightly align the pressure to where you want to direct your leaf, up and lift. Now let's give movement to our leaves. We make the line, we press to the side, we release pressure, we press to the side again, then we move forward and lift. I'm going to pick up new color. And let's do it one more time. Line, press to the side. Lift a little bit the pressure, line, press, 
lift and done oh well this is the end of this tutorial remember your feedback is very important to me thanks for watching bye bye